Hello, my name is Emmanuel Carasa. I'm a fast track solution architect within Microsoft. Today I'm going to be presenting how we can use customer voice as an alternative to manage event registrations for Dynamics Marketing. As we know, Dynamics 365 Marketing provides the ability to plan and manage events, and that includes the creation of forms that allow us to track who wants to attend a particular event. Similarly, customer voice is a uh, survey, survey oriented look and feel that provides the ability to structure better the information we can lack from customers. If we can join those two things together, we can have the email, email sending capabilities and event planning potential of dynamics marketing with the survey capabilities of customer voice. This allows us to provide an option to gain additional perspective for customers at the point that they're registering for an event, and this is useful as it will help us shape the particular event. But it also allows us to have a, diff a particular user experience for that particular event if we want to use uh, for those customers instead of necessarily having to customize the portal that is provided with Dynamics Marketing. How do we do that? We're going to follow a very simple process in which we're going to first create a customer voice survey within with the information we want to collect for the event, create and manage and plan the event within Dynamics Marketing, create that email in Dynamics Marketing embedding the link for the customer voice survey, create the customer journey that is going to help us identify the target audience and the emails to be sent. We're also going to add steps into the journey that's going to allow us to manage the responses as we get from the customer voice and be able to get, create those event registrations. And finally, we're going to go live with, those, with the journey. I want to call attention to this step that we talk about the different uh, actions that we need to do within the customer journey as it's something that's going to be enriching the information we we'll already collect. In order for us to create those event registrations within the journeys, we do not include, Dynamics Marketing does not include any tiles that allow us to, to create those registrations. But the editor does provide extensive ELE options that make it up that allow us to do this. We can do this in three different manners. We can either use the legacy workflow processes to create and embed in within the journey and using the standard tiles. We can create a custom tile that would execute a particular plugin and create the registration. Or we can create a custom tile to trigger the power automate a power automate execution and use power automate to create that particular registration. For the purposes of the demo, I'm going to be using the approach of the first approach of using the legacy workflow process to inc as included in the standard journeys. For the demo, what the first thing I'm going to do is open up my customer voice uh, registration. Uh, this is something I've been preparing. We have a series of questions that are going to help me shape the audience and ask information as they register. On basic, the key question in, from the process of point of view is that I will be asking whether, whether that person will be attending or not the event. Since I already will know who the person is, I'll be able to track efficiently who's registering. I can also add other questions that's going to, once complete, is going to tell me a little bit more about the customer and what they want to expect from, from the event. Once that's done, my next step would be to prepare the information needed on the event. I'm going to go into Dynamics Marketing and go into my events area where I, could, I would be creating an NBA event. This NBA event, it will have different options that I can start using to profile the type of the event it is, etc., including when it's going to take place and in which time zone. The purpose of this talk was not, is not to go into the details of the event, but for this purpose, all we need to have is that holder of the event and all of the go that's going to go within it. Once the event is defined, I can go into my into the emails that I'm going to be able to send to invite people to the event. I'm now going to be able to create a new email. And using one of the pre-created templates, I'm going to focus on those that have that have been created for the purpose of event or webinar invitation. From that list, I can pick whichever template I want to use, select it. And that's giving me the baseline of my of my event invitation. The key thing that I'm going to do now is actually change where this registration button is going to take. Instead of pointing to a particular URL, 
I'm not going to point them to the event, normal event registration page. Instead, I'm going to point them to the actual survey so that when customers receive this email, they'll be able to click on the, sur on the survey link and, con and answer correctly. I'm then be able to pick the survey that I want to send. And in this case, I'm specifying that the survey is not anonymous. I can also change the text on the button and make any other additional changes I want to make to the to the template. Finally, I need to give the invitation a, a, a subject title. And if I wanted to, I could also add some pre-header information and other email components and give this email a name. And finally, do a check content to ensure it's meeting all of the necessary uh, technical and spam checks that it's going to have. And then finally, I'm going to go live with it. As you can see, this is the, the event as I expected to repeat receipt. Next stop, I'm going to create my workflow action that's going to manage my registrations once the survey are complete. For that, I'm going to go into the advanced settings area and navigate to the area of processes where workflows are defined. I'm going to create a new workflow. And I'm going to tie this to the entity contact, which is what's being, is what's going to get passed when I put this workflow in play into a customer journey. As this is not time critical, I'm going to make sure it's running on the, on the direct recommendation, which is going to run as a background. On the workflow designer, I'm going to make sure this is set to run for the whole organization, as I don't want any restrictions as to when the, the, the person is going to be running and creating those registrations. It's also going to run as on demand process, which I require to be able to use it in the customer journeys. Finally, I'm going to add the steps, which in my case are going to be very simple. I just, I'm just want to create a record in the entity event registrations. And I'll be able to specify additional properties that I want for that particular registration. In this case, all I need to really specify is from the, con the contact that is being passed into the execution of the workflow and the event for which I want to I want to link this creation. In this case, is my NBA event. I could complete other information. It's not necessary for the purposes of the demo. I'm now going to save and close and activate the workflow. Once I got my workflow and my emails ready, I can go into my customer journey and start the planning of a new journey. For I'm not going to use any of the existing templates, but I am going to be able to select a particular segment that I want to target. In this case, I'm going to use my base test segment. All of them are going to receive an email. The invitation for the NBA event. One important part here is I want to be able to, I need to specify the email elements that are being sent within that email, which includes, in this case, the customer voice survey. I can then act, I can then do a, I'm going to do, then validate the responses on the survey by using an if then condition. By selecting the response to the registration, 
I can see that it's that the input conditions around has been answered. The question that will you be attending the event? Yes. And I'm going to let this run for several days, allowing people to have 20 days from the point that they receive the email to when they can actually uh, register for the event. If successfully registered, I'll be able to then execute the workflow. That's going to create the event registration. Once that's done, I'll be able to give it a name. Specify the start and end date. For the purpose of the demo, I'm going to pick a date in the past that allows me to execute the journey immediately upon going live. I'm going to save this. Check for errors. As you can see, I'm receiving a warning that says it's going to be starting in the past, which is exactly as expected. So we'll start as soon as possible. And then I'm going to go live. Now I'm going to be picking up the journey as if it was one of the customers receiving that invitation. As you can see, I've received the email and I have the button I can customize where I can click and be directed to the actual customer voice survey, which is functioning as my event registration form. I can specify that I will be attending the event and I can also answer the other questions that are being passed over here for my, for my use and using all of the features and capabilities of customer voice. And I can specify my favorite team. Submit. What this is going to do back in my event registration is that because the journey has been configured to create those records, I can go in my registration attendance and I'll be able to pick up that that customer, Ryan Matthews, that just completed is now one of the events that has been registered. This now concludes the demonstration and how we can have successfully tying the power of dynamics marketing with customer voice in terms of uh, providing capability that allows us to capture information during an event registration. Here are some additional information and background documentation that's possible and really you can find it in the presentation which is attached to this tech document.